Today we're talking about Dean guitars. There's lots of talk about Dean guitars right now and there's not really much out there of people trying to find solutions or find ways to help Dean guitars. And I've thought of a few things that could probably help Dean guitars out in their questionable time right now. My first idea is this, to make 24 fret MLs without Kayla tremolos because there is some blue ML on their site with a Kayla tremolo with 24 frets and that's fine, but it's blue. Not many people in the extreme metal genre want a blue guitar. I think what Dean should do is think about the ML modifier because the ML modifier is still one of the best six string products that Dean has ever made. Really good pickups, Floyd Rose, and it came in great colors. It came in a satin black, a gloss black, and a red. I think they should bring the modifier back. Even if it's not the modifier shape, I think they should do 24 fret MLs. They should extend the scale length ever so slightly because most MLs are 24 and three quarter scale length. If they increase it to 25 or 25 and a half, I think that'll be a lot better for the ML line. Along with these MLs, they should have the options for these specs. A normal bridge, a normal tunematic bridge, a Floyd or an Evertune. I do think Dean missed the mark with some of the more recent models because when I was in Japan, I had the opportunity to play an ML, one of the new MLs with the Fisherman Fluence pickups. And that was a really, really amazing, beautiful guitar. But it would be even better if it just had 24 frets. And that's the biggest thing that Dean are missing right now, which is 24 fret extreme shapes, which is kind of where the market's heading now. If a guitar doesn't have 24 frets, there's like no point anymore. Dean needs to also have stainless steel frets on their import models because they are just better. The build quality on these new Deans is fantastic as well. So they don't really need to worry about that too much. It's just a case of the right bridge, the right colors, and the right materials. What could also help Dean is a new shape. They have a V-shape. They could also modify that V-shape slightly in some ways to make it a little bit more aggressive, maybe have a new headstock design. That could be something that could help them. But more importantly, with these new Vengeance Vs, with those zeros, and even with the MLs, there needs to be more seven and eight string models because the current seven and eight string MLs that Dean released are just not good enough. They look like someone fucking vomed on them. They, I saw them for the first time and I was just so disappointed. Um, no one's really using Kayla tremolos. You're best off just having a good hardtail bridge or a good Tudomatic or just a good Floyd or just something that isn't a Kayla because that for me anyway, if something has a Kayla tremolo, I just don't like it. I much prefer the Floyds because Floyds are more popular. It's more what I'm used to. So I think there is a bit of a need in the market for good 24 fret, extreme shaped, extended range guitars. I think Dean can mess around with multi-scale as well. I think like a seven string multi-scale ML, a more traditional style multi-scale, not the one like how they've done with the, um, with the models they have now. I don't think it's good enough. Just a more traditional style multi-scale, even for six string MLs, because they could even be really, really cool. I don't think Dean need to change their pickups very much. I think the Dean pickups are very, very, very good. And they've got deals with Fishman and EMG, so that's obviously gonna be quite helpful. So the pickups they don't need to worry about. It's more the case of colors, I think. I think Dean need to make more serious looking guitars. Yes, you can make them flamboyant and crazy in shape, but for example, playing black metal, I would not want a Razorback like this in green, even though there are some. It's interesting as well, because I think this seven string Razorback is one of the best models that Dean has ever made. Because it's, this has basically been my live warhorse ever since 2017. And it's just one fantastic guitar. And the only thing that I've needed to do with it is just change this pickup. It's a Fishman Fluence now. So, you know, a guitar like this, that looks this extreme, and even Dean can definitely use this paint color again for some of the MLs as well. I think they'll look amazing in this kind of paint scheme, these specs. And I think they'll just be a hit because people will eat with their eyes. And this takes me back to another model, the white gold Razorbacks that Trivium used to use. Matt Heafy used to have one. If there was a white gold ML with a Floyd 24 fret, that would be amazing. That would be such a cool looking guitar, or even one of the new Vengeance Vs or the Zeros. I think they would just be fantastic looking things. Another thing that would help Dean Guitar is a configurator on their website, because I was messing around on ESP's website on their configurator. I think Dean can implement something like that 
really, really well. And I think it'll be fun as well to make your own Dean. Then it gives people the kind of ideas on how to help the custom shop a bit more as well, because sometimes people need a visual before they commit to something. I think a customizer configurator tool on Dean's website will be a really cool thing. Something else that can help Dean is to get their guitars in the hands of more YouTube guitarists. From what I've seen, I'm one of the only people that are really repping Dean on the internet. Like, I don't particularly want to play anything else than a Dean guitar or a DBZ because they have just been like the best guitars for me. I think Dean can definitely expand their circle of influence with influencers and actually sending out some guitars to review and maybe having more YouTubers as artists on their roster. More endorsement deals for YouTubers. I think that's a good idea and it does seem to be a kind of cool thing the way the current guitarist and YouTube influencer guitar market is going because lots of people just watch YouTube for gear reviews and if they see everyone they like playing LTDs then they're probably going to flock in that direction. I think Dean can take some of the market share. When it comes to influencers and getting their guitars out there I think Solar has done an amazing job and Solar with the X shape is going to... I think it, the Solar X shape is causing a bit of a problem for Dean I think Dean could get in contact with more retailers in the UK because there used to be quite a few back in the day and then it really dwindled. Like there was Dean headquarters in the UK in Essex, which I went to. It's where I got this guitar from. The fact that that existed was a really cool thing. And the fact that it's gone is quite sad. So it could be something to look back into again having more European retailers, trying to get the Dean brand out there. It might cost a lot more for marketing. It might be, maybe it's a bit difficult now. I don't know the trade laws between the US and the Asian imports and the UK. I don't know how, I don't know the logistics or the cost of the pricings, but it could be cool to have more Dean retailers in the UK. I think even with a few products. It could possibly be worth a Dean focusing on more quality guitars as opposed to the X series, the beginners series it could work in their favor it could not but that's some that's not for me to decide i would much rather prefer dean being a more classy brand and not having so many lower end models because i think it would be a bit more reputable for the company that's just my opinion anyway it might not be great for sales but that's my opinion another thing that could help dean is a bit more focus on the pointy extreme shapes because Everyone's kind of playing it safe with super strats and it's getting really boring now. If Dean just kind of focuses on the crazy guitars, then that would be really, really cool. Because that's kind of what BC Rich is doing, but I think BC Rich are making their guitars a little bit too pretty. Like some of the Iron Birds are just a bit too glamorous for the really dark kind of stuff. And, and I think the coolest BC Rich product right now is the Eric Rutan Iron Birds. You know, that's a savage looking thing. If Dean released some aggressive red looking vengeance guitars with 24 frets, a, a you know, good bridge and black hardware and it just rips, then people are going to flock to that. It's, you know, I, I'm kind of, I kind of really want a seven string vengeance V with just one volume control, black hardware, 24 frets of black Floyd and a Fishman. Just like one fisherman here, like no neck pickup, like that would be just cool. And maybe just have like a more aggressive reverse looking headstock. That could just be something really cool for Dean to produce. Another thing that could be great for Dean is to bring back the DCR line. Such as guitars like this, you know, cool limited edition models. That would be really cool. And I think Dean is coming up to its 50th anniversary in the next few years. So maybe they're holding back till then but I don't know if that's gonna to be too late. I don't know what's going on in Dean. Dean has always been one of those companies that has innovated and they do have the potential to create new amazing things and they definitely can. It's the case of will they and how they go about it. Because the Kerry King models are cool, but Kerry's not gigging and I don't think the shapes are very appealing. I think Dean should stick to MLs I think the star shape or something similar to an ML is the way that Dean need to go forward. But let's see how well this video ages because we don't know what's going to happen, right? 
We don't know what the future is going to hold and we don't know what Dean are going to do. Maybe Dean can go into liquidation. Maybe Dean could create like the greatest lineup next year and destroy everyone. I don't know. But what are your thoughts? Tell me, how would you help Dean Guitars? Do you think they're going to fail? What do you think is going to happen to Dean? Do you hate Dean Guitars? Do you like Dean Guitars? So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? Let me know.